Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for April 9th through the 15th. This is for the sign of Taurus. We're going to get one of these oracle cards, and we will reveal it at the end, see if it resonates with the reading. Then we'll break right into that tarot deck. Oh. Well, we're going to get another one because this came flying out. But this is obviously a message for you, Taurus. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. <laughs> well, now we're going to get another one because I want to reveal it at the end. This is why I shuffle on camera, because it's really important. Okay. This is for the sign of Taurus, April, what is it, 9th through the 15th? I've been so busy, I haven't even changed my calendar yet. What do you have for the sign of Taurus in love? For the week ahead, what does Taurus need to know? Thank you for your messages. Somebody may be trapped in fear, living in guilt, having some regrets. Um, needing to um, come out of this period of fear, okay? Someone needs to let go of fear, let go of what's holding them back. And, it, and you know, I feel a part of what is that whatever is holding you back is some sort of guilt. I just feel like guilt guilt or or rejection okay you may the past rejections may have you trapped in fear of letting anybody else in yeah it's like you you're just wanting to to move very slowly I'm not really sure about this I just want to take my time make sure that I'm building something stable and secure here You know, there could be a, a loss of uh, will, okay? A loss of willpower, a loss of uh, direction this week. Maybe, you know, you're rethinking some sort of situation or you're thinking about something a lot. There's some sort of mental conflict in regards to a loss that is holding you back from moving forward. Yeah, I feel like you got you've been deceived. You've been deceived or you're really afraid of being deceived. That could be the case, the fear of being deceived again, of being rejected again. Yeah, unable to take the next step. It's like I'm unable to drop this whatever it is and I think what the, this really to me is screaming out rejection I'm unable to move forward because let me just get the rest of these cards before I go any further yeah there's a lack of self love there's a lack of self esteem Some, you know and the blame card comes out perfectly like it did and this totally makes sense but let me get this zoomed in So I feel like this week somebody is blaming themselves, okay? They're blaming themselves. You could be blaming others as well. There's definitely, that card made, made sense because somebody's afraid to take the next step. They're afraid to move forward because of fear of rejection or fear of um, being hurt again. 
there's also a lack of uh, ability to take action and move forward because there's a lack of self-love, there's a lack of self-confidence and self-worth. If somebody is feeling very down in the outs, okay, with this Empress Reverse, they may be feeling quite needy, all right? You may be feeling needy. You may feel like you're not able to let love in this week for some reason. You may be turning your back to it because, you know, you're not in a happy state. I mean, with the Sun card, even though the Sun Reversed is still a good card, I don't feel like you're you're in a spot where you are absolutely able to take the step that you need to take, the next step. I think there's a lack of balance here. Um, you may be feeling overwhelmed or maybe you feel like you've, you've bitten off more than you can chew, okay? And now you're trying to spit it out. I mean, that could certainly be the case. It's just like, I feel like you guys are, you're being tested, you're, you're, ability to remove yourself from the previous I think it's rejection or regrets okay whatever you, the ability to remove yourself from that mental state of mind where you're still blaming the other person you're still blaming yourself you you're unable to remove those negative thoughts at this time to move forward in a new relationship this is a love reading okay I feel like right now you're probably wanting to focus on your career, your job, your business, your finances, everything but love. I mean, because where's the love here? It's not, okay? It's not because I feel like somebody is really working on themselves to heal. I don't see, they see that all the healing has been done yet. And I, you may be turning your back on something because there's just, things are too busy. This, this could be... Um, you may have a lot of busyness going on, and I mean busyness, busyness in your mind and busyness in your life. It feels like there's a lot of obstacles that are holding you back from moving forward in regards to love, okay? I feel like you're still in the planning stages, you're, you're testing people, you're testing yourself, you're testing the waters, okay? You're testing the waters, and you know, I think that you have a lot of, you're being very patient with yourself. Um, and I feel like right now, you know, this week is probably a week of, of doing a little bit more soul searching, okay? Because I feel like there, you may be feeling a little down in the outs, all right? What else do we have? Yeah, somebody's emotionally unavailable. Okay, so whether that's you or somebody that you're dealing with, you may feel like you're not able to emotionally put yourself available to another person this week, okay? Maybe you're not feeling very playful, you're not feeling like very um, content. Maybe, maybe you're even feeling like you want to be alone, all right? Yeah, somebody is, is, is lacking inner strength right now and you know this comes and goes right it does we will have periods where we our strength is built up and we're feeling good really good and then we'll have periods where we will feel really down it's the down periods that bring us healing okay so there's something here that needs to heal we need to bring balance to a situation still there's still something heavy within us. This is a heaviness surrounding our future, surrounding where we want to go, okay? There's still a heaviness that we haven't released yet. So I feel like this is a week of seeking balance, refinding the balance again after a period of perhaps feeling down and out, feeling um, low self-esteem, uh, you know, maybe just feeling not with it okay Un emotionally unavailable yeah somebody's not enjoying where they're at this week okay you may be feeling like you're at a complete loss why why me that kind of mentality and that's why that blame came out you may be feeling that way and that is a normal feeling we all go through it so when you do have, like I said, when you have those feelings, it's because you need, still need to heal something. And this is the case with this Justice card. You have to do the right thing. You have to release this heaviness. Until you do, you're going to continue to go through this process until you do.
okay? It's time for you to do the right thing and release the, this blame. You need to release the, the negative thoughts. You need to release the mental conflict. You need to remove the obstacles that are still holding you back. And you need to stop concentrating on the loss, okay? Somebody here watching this is still concentrating on the loss. And when I say concentrating on the loss, you, people concentrate on the loss in many ways. Some people cry about it. Some people get angry about it. Some people um, seclude themselves because of the loss. You know, there's, so there's so, you need to figure out how you're focusing on the loss. Somebody here is absolutely still um, thinking about a loss, how it happened, why it happened, and it's holding them back, okay? There's no, they're not making momentum this week in totally releasing it. Somebody, in the, the, there's a lack of self-worth here. There is. With, with the Nine of Pentacles, the Strength card, and the Empress reversed, somebody is not feeling worthy, not feeling good enough, not letting themselves be the best that they can be, Okay? feeling, um, oh, I can't think of the word for it. It's almost like a feeling of very uncomfortable. Okay. I'm not comfortable this week. I'm not comfortable with my decisions. I'm not comfortable with it, how things have went. And I'm not, I haven't quite let go of the past hurts, okay? Let go, past hurts, okay? Somebody hasn't quite let go. But <laughs> we do have a lover's card. So this is an unexpected choice in love. And this is about doing the right thing. This is about releasing the heaviness that is holding you back. You have to make a choice. Now we have two choices here. You have to make a choice. What are you going to do? Are you going to stay contemplating about what has hurt you in the past and keep yourself emotionally unavailable or are you going to open yourself up to someone new? I mean, that's what the question is, okay? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Do you want to focus on the past or do you want to move forward? Because you could have a choice here, a choice uh, in love, okay? This... this um, this could come to you uh, suddenly. This could be somebody that you don't expect, somebody that you don't know. Um, so this person is not your usual type. And, you know, it could lead, there could be some seduction this week. But you may be feeling like you're not worthy to accept this, okay? So just keep in mind, you may receive some sort of offer in love in which you might think you're not worthy when you really are worthy, okay? So just keep in mind that you are worthy. Do you really want to hold on to the past hurts and keep yourself emotionally unavailable for the next one, okay? So I feel as though somebody is working on letting go of struggles they're working on letting go of tension um and starting to you know i just want to be happy you know feeling like i just want to be happy but i haven't quite healed yet you know with the nine of pentacles reverse somebody's just not looking at things through the right eyes Okay, you're not seeing who you really are. You're not seeing your worth when you really are worthy. This person that is interested in you thinks that you are beautiful. They think that you are worthy. The, what the, feeling, the thing is, is that you are feeling that you're not worthy, but you are worthy. So I'm just here to tell you that that lack of self-confidence and that lack of self-worth and that lack of self-esteem is not doing anything for you. Okay, it's not. All right, you, you know, I feel as though you are very reluctant to let somebody else into your life because of the past rejection. All right, you're holding on to this, the heaviness that that past has left you with and it's, it's really time to let it go. 
It's time to step outside of your comfort zone and make yourself emotionally available and love yourself for who you are, okay? Because this person who is interested, you may not even know it yet, um, they love you for who you are, okay? They do. They will love you for who you are. So you guys, you do have a new exciting opportunity right here. There's a new opportunity being offered to you. You could be receiving an invitation to go out on a date or to go to a party or to go do something. You know, and it could lead to a lot of excitement, but you're afraid it's going to end in disaster. You're afraid to step into the unknown. You're letting fear and confusion hold you back for fear of a false fear of a false foundation. Everything happens for a reason. Okay, there's some hidden forces here. There's some karma here. It's time for someone or whoever is watching this, whoever this resonates with, whoever this is for. To allow themselves to be emotionally available and not let fear hold them back. Do not bring the past with you into the future. Do not blame yourself. Do not hold on to the guilt. Do not hold on to the rejection. Okay, somebody needs to hear this message. I feel as though someone is... Unable, okay, to make the right choice for fear of disaster, okay? It is, it's time for you to do the right thing for yourself, right? It is. It's time to make the decision, to make the final decision. Do you want to stay stuck in the past or do you want to move forward? Now, some of you may need to be able to balance out uh, work and love. Are you able to do that? Okay, because this is, okay, right here we have the Queen of Pentacles with the Justice card right together. So there could be no forward movement because somebody isn't balancing out the two. You know, you have to be able to balance work and love life. Can you do that? Are you ready for that? Because I feel like for some of you, there is an opportunity in love. You could receive an invitation. But your fear of disaster could hold you back. Your lack of self-confidence, your lack of self-worth. This person with the lover's card right over the empress thinks that you are beautiful. Man or woman. So don't let those insecurities hold you back. Step into your fear and accept this new, exciting invitation. So I feel like that to this week you could, you know, have a possibility of something new and exciting to begin if you would step outside of your comfort zone and face your fears. You ready? Oh, acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. This is perfect, along with the blame card. Okay? Blame doesn't get you anywhere. Let it all go. Don't blame yourself. Don't blame the other person. Let it all go. Move on. And accept that happened. It's over. I'm not going to let it hold me back. You're beautiful. Don't forget it. Talk to you later.